Hello my loves, welcome to Big Starot Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning to this channel today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and also if any of you are interested in booking personal tarot readings, all the information can be found in the description box. Today we're looking into what are your crushes thoughts and feelings towards you we have three groups to pick from today group number one is going to be this individuality card group number two is going to be your path card and group number three here is going to be the outrageous opening opening openness card right so these are the three groups that you can pick from the timestamps are already in the description box below this video you can scroll down below hop into your reading already if you feel like you know which group is the one for you if you feel like you need a bit more time pause the video take a few deep breaths we are just going to be diving into what are your persons or the person on your mind this crush person's thoughts and feelings and this reading is going to be quite simple a little bit quicker of a reading as well just to get you the main messages that want to come through that want to come across so if you feel like you need a bit more time pause the video take a few deep breaths drink a bit of water ground yourself you can ask and connect your spirit guides what is the greatest message or what message do you need to come across today in regards to your situation and that is going to be the group for you and i'll see all of you in your chosen groups Hello, group number one, welcome. If you have picked individuality card over here, this is going to be a reading for what are your crushes, thoughts and feelings towards you at this time. Here we have every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. I feel like your person considers you to be different from them. You are someone who stands out in a different way. Um, you don't feel like you're a very similar person to them is what is coming through here so here we have also extraordinary coming through there's there is a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored so even though your person recognizes there is something different between the two of you, you, you are not completely, you know, the same type of person. Maybe you have different interests as well. They definitely understand and see how unique and extraordinary you are. They honor the way that you are, basically, the way that you show up, um, your interests, your personality, your behavior, everything about you is quite interesting to them here. We also have sacrifice here is showing up. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions is a sacrifice to love. Right. And also here we have divine flow showing up. The message here is eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow at all costs. All right. So with these messages showing up, immediately what I'm tapping into here is that your person really likes you. But at the same time, they seem to be quite detached from you specifically. They, they are possibly a person who is usually quite detached in life. So their behavior towards you here is not something out of the ordinary for them is what I'm getting, especially with this individuality. It feels like this is the type of person who really likes to rely on themselves who doesn't want to rely on other people and because of that they don't want to or are unable to in some way to form really strong bonds with other people i feel like this person overall right now is interested in a relationship but i'm not feeling like it's something that they would be very committed to, especially with sacrifice, with divine flow. It, it feels like this person is wanting to 
rely or put a lot more effort into other aspects of their life that aren't necessarily romantic interests or relationship oriented. They feel like they want to put more effort into building their career or building their work situation or um, for example, getting promoted at work and so on. That is what they feel like they're working out here with sacrifice. It feels like they don't want to sacrifice too much of their time for a romantic interest or for a romantic relationship and they want a romantic relationship to be overall more flowy, you know, to, to not feel the pressure. This person feels like they don't want to feel the pressure in a romantic relationship. And they want things to be easygoing, open, you know, very very smooth without any strong expectations of them or of where this connection is going. So overall, they like to have fun. They want to have fun. They honor you greatly. They adore you as a person to hang out with is what I'm getting here with Extraordinary. They feel like your commitment, your your effort or your energy, the energy that you put into this relationship or, you know, Overall, also how you come across is very beautiful. They definitely want to continue to see where this is going. But right now it feels like this person likes the way things are at the moment. And they don't want to, they don't want to put more energy into this. If you get what I'm saying. So let's see what else wants to come through here with the tarot. So spirit, what are their thoughts right now? We have authority coming through. What are their crushes for group number one? What are their crushes thoughts right now? We have partnership and alliances. What are their thoughts of them? We have choosing wisely. We have solitude. And yeah, we have love begins here as well. So with authority, this person feels like they are in a very strong masculine energy when it comes to this connection, when it comes to you at this time. They're coming through with a strong energy of Aries, which is about taking action, taking ownership, doing things in the physical world to bring things about, basically. How does this translate towards you? This person feels like they want to be the the main person who is making decisions in your connection. I feel like this person feels like they need to have the last word or, you know, the last say in the matter. Like their position really needs to be considered in this connection. If this is to go anywhere is what I'm getting here. Like they really, really deeply need to be considered in this relationship because they have some very profound needs that they want to bring about in their own lives. And this needs to sort of make sense with the connection because they see something brewing here between the two of you, but this person at the same time is, is in a position in their life where they need to have control over their relationships and they can't just you know, allow things to go wherever the hell they want to go. They feel like they want to know where things are going and this person definitely would be strongly against it going, you know, towards a relationship that would restrict them in any way because we have that divine flow. They want the divine flow to happen inside of this connection. What partnerships and alliances here this person does have your back and they feel like you have their back as well um they feel like they can really rely on you and also this person is the type of person who is going to offer you you know a partnership someone who is going to offer you a certain reliance you can rely upon them you can trust them to be there for you definitely this is the type of person who is not going to forsake you so their their feelings here are you know their thoughts of you also are committed but it's not it's not like a 
set in stone type of commitment is what I'm getting here. This person likes working with you, but the whole relationship between the two of you from their perspective needs to be malleable. It needs to be, you know, almost like shiftable, almost like, you know, being able to move it about. Like it, it can be formed in many different ways is what they are wanting to say and they need to be able to have this and they need to have a say in how they want it to form with authority. This person can be a bit bossy as well as what's coming through here with that authority energy. So choose wisely is what's coming through here. With choose wisely, what I'm seeing is this person definitely has a lot of other interests that they're pursuing as well. Um, while you definitely stand out as one of those things that they are pursuing, that they're interested in, you are by no means the only thing that this person is interested in. And I feel like they're... Um, their attention here needs to be shared with other things. This is the type of person who is going to, you know, not spend time with you because they need to be working or they need to be working on a certain project or they need to move forward in another aspect in their life. So it just feels like they have many different things that they are considering at this time that they're building or that they're working on at this time. Just, just their feelings here overall are not as, you know, strong, as solid, as grounded is what I'm getting here. This person also does feel like they need a lot of time on their own with solitude coming through. We have the hermit energy. So I do feel like this person just needs a ton of alone time to spend time with themselves, to focus on their interests, to build their life from the ground up and this is what they feel like they're focusing on the most. They still feel like love is beginning here between the two of you. They still feel like they want to build something with you but again not like fully going into it and not giving you all of their attention is what I'm getting here and why I'm really stressing this is because you know I don't want you to have a certain illusion with this person because definitely yeah they are there they are interested but this person is also a strong individualist they like to do things on their own this person is the type of person who is going to go off and do things for themselves and it's just it's the type of relationship where I feel like you also are going to be alone a lot of the time and if you're feeling comfortable with that that's all right but it's just that's the type of relationship that this person feels like they can offer you at this time it's interesting that these messages are coming through because you know it just feels like your person really wants to share this specific this specific um behavioral trait with you here so anything else about their thoughts and feelings here? Like to sum up, they are interested, but they also have many different other projects that they are interested in and that they feel like ha they have to give their energy to. So it's not just, you know, you are not the only one is what I want to say here. And if you feel like you need someone who is going to, consider you and take you to be the only one in their lives or someone who is going to spend a lot more time with you this person cannot offer you that and yeah I feel like they just want to share that because it's possible that this has been sort of implicitly present within your connection maybe this person being a bit you know detached or just not fully present with you occasionally and that is something that has possibly been tripping you up um, that is the reason you know they like you definitely the likeness the love is here they find you awesome they find you interesting yet at the same time this person just needs a ton of alone time they can be also a little bit avoidant is what is coming through here um a lot of this is being channeled from their higher self is what i'm getting and i feel like this group definitely needs this um just to be able to understand this person just to be able to have a more 
solid conversation with them if need be as well. So let's see what else wants to come through for us here. We are just going to see what other cards want to show up. So Spirit, anything else about their thoughts and feelings here? Thank you. We have movement choices decisions yeah just with this card with the two of pentacles it feels like this person always needs to be making movements choices decisions in regards to what they are wanting you know on one side we have the romantic relationship on the other we have possibly a project that they want growing the other aspect is money the other is more you know lofty thoughts that they've been having they're always having to make decisions about where to put their own energy because they have so many things that they want to get done. You know, this is the type of person who wants to really do something with their life. They're not just going to be content with just living a normal, quote unquote, life. This person wants something more from themselves. They demand something more from themselves. And while they're interested in you, they're also interested in their work. Their work is also a big element and they're emotionally invested in their work. They really like it. And yeah, at the same time, it's just like also their friend group and also some other projects that they want to be working on. So there, there is that element, strong element here that this person just is someone who is not going to be fully available always and they they're saying that they are sharing that with you that they are not going to be available always that it's a sacrifice from them possibly to go into this relationship fully that they cannot offer you that 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 is just going to lead to resentment so what is the overall purpose what is the overall message okay so what are their thoughts and feelings they are set on you. They like you. They would like to continue hanging out with you. This person fancies you as well. They find you beautiful. They find you fascinating. They find you as interesting to hang out with, but you're going to have to share space in their heart with their other interests, with their other ideas, with their group and with their group, um, with their work and also with their um, ambition, literally. You're going to have to share space in their heart with their ambition. Also, we have financial and material changes. This person really is currently working on gaining more health, help and also um, money, being more financially free, financially stable, possibly working towards financial freedom, financial independence with their project. So they're really also deeply focused on that. And while they they feel this spiritual union here between the two of you, they feel the love between the two of you and they're interested in you, you know, it's like, mm, it's not fully there. This person doesn't want to get trapped by love. I feel like that is something that's deeply on their mind as well, getting trapped in a relationship. And, and possibly not being able to work on their interests or work on their uh, projects, their hobbies. This person does love you. You know, they feel con a connection with you, definitely. Um, they think highly of you. They like your interests. They like talking to you. But yeah, they, they just need you to understand that sometimes they just need to take off and do their own thing. So let's see, what else can we show you here? Is there a guidance card anywhere? <laughs> what shall we say? Group number one. Okay, guidance. Let's, let's go with this deck, just one or two cards of guidance. Guidance for group number two in regards to this person. Yeah, it's about being clear with yourself. What do you want and what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to say no to? The high road, doing the right thing, loyalty, ethics. You really get to be clear with yourself at this time. In regards to this person, if you're okay with this type of lifestyle that they can offer you. It just feels like this person is very clear with themselves, what they want, where they want to be going. 
and they are also I feel like they can be very clear with you as well um, if you feel like you need to have a deeper conversation about where this is going do do that and you know allow them to really speak their mind and what their wishes are for a relationship they are going to be loyal to you is what I'm getting but there is this again I want to repeat this sharing that needs to happen you know you are going to share space you're going to sort of be sharing their heart with their ambition over here and if you're okay with that then that's beautiful but if you're not okay with that then I feel like there's an incompatibility here between the two of you and it's possible that you're going to need to go separate ways even though this does feel like it's a very strong beautiful connection maybe you guys can remain friends with spiritual union here you know because you definitely do see eye to eye and you connect very lovingly and there is a lovely connection here brewing your person knows it as well they feel it as well um, they have a strong respect for you here with spiritual union and they do feel love you know love friendship respect possibly you guys are soulmates as well here um, but if there is incompatibility in regards to what you're wanting in the physical world uh, at this time, then you do need to have a conversation about that. And also here we have field of dreams showing up bounty, sustainability and a good harvest. So Spirit is saying that there is a lot of good to be had with this person, with this connection, if you are willing to engage yourself with this if this is something that works for you if this is something that you would potentially be interested in building or creating there's a lot of abundance that can come out of this connection but again that is if you're willing to engage with this person <clears throat> so quench your thirst be receptive, rehydrate, replenish yourself. In case you've been giving too much or feeling like you've been sort of expecting a lot and not getting a lot in return, try to focus more on yourself at this time. Try to give to yourself what you have been expecting from your person. I feel like some of you possibly have been expecting a lot more than this person can give. And this is what has possibly led you towards this um sort of feeling of not being enough or, or just feeling bad in a relationship altogether you know this is not because your person wouldn't care for you it's just that possibly you need to address certain incompatibilities and you just need to understand where they are coming from we have bottled up on the bottom of the deck repressed pent up needing release if you need to share something with this person do but make sure it is coming from a stable place that you sort of vent out the anger before you have a conversation with them. But definitely like be receptive to what is happening around you. Take care of yourself, rehydrate yourself with love. So give yourself the self-love that you have possibly been wanting to receive but haven't from this person for those of you who are in that position. Just take care of yourself, turn your focus towards yourself so that you can show up as the best person that you can. This is the definitely like the type of person that you're doing business with, let's say, um, is the type of person who needs a partner in their life, someone who is going to have their own wishes, ambitions, projects they are working on. You know, someone they can sort of do business with or do partnerships with like this this person really needs a partner in their life someone who is going to be supportive of them but someone who is also going to have their own strong ambitious undertaking in the in their life so that that can sort of engage them while this person is not there or you know a strong friend circle you need to sort of you need to engage yourself and you cannot expect this person to be there for you for everything this is the type of person who is just going to be there for certain aspects of the relationship but not everything this is not going to be able to be like a fully beautiful relationship if you're wanting a more romantic connection and someone who's going to be with you and someone who's going to give you that strong connection that strong sense of connectedness and togetherness at all times right 
So we have Virgo here with Hermit showing up. We have Aries here with authority, with the Emperor showing up. Okay, so yeah. This person is very action-oriented, wants to do things in their own life, likes to be in the spotlight, likes to be important. So that's just everything that you need to consider about them. So I do hope this helps a little bit. Group number one, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy. Let me know how this was for you in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe as well. Share this video with someone that you love. If you want more videos, check out Patreon. If, and if you want a personal tarot reading, all the information is down below. My website and my email is listed below so that you can contact me whenever you feel guided to. So thank you so much for connecting. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you all in the next video. Namaste. Bye. Hello, group number two, welcome to your reading. If you have picked this card, your path, this is going to be your reading. So your path here says, Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond that I can see through my fears and illusions, right? With your path here, I do feel like your person is really focused on you. There are many things at play in this connection. so. Many different things are in their life that are sort of playing into this relationship, but I am feeling like they are predominantly focused on you. There's a certain quality that you give them. I'm hearing um sort of resonating through the room, almost like, you know, in those meditations where um is like being repeated over and over again. There's sort of this shift in energy and frequency and vibration going on. That is what I'm feeling into with this your path energy. I'm hearing I'm yours. So this person definitely feels like they are already yours. They all are already sort of spoken to, to you. Very interesting energy. Your crush definitely feels like they are already with you or already present with you. Does this feel like it's a soulmate energy or a twin flame even? Because the energy does feel like it's very, it's, it's coming from source. It's coming from that soulful connection, you know? That's what I'm feeling here. So we have also receiving. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Beautiful. We're just going to look at all the cards and then get into some deeper messages. Then we have right action here. Um, a paragraha literally means let everything that wants to go, go. And everything that wants to come, come. There is this fluidity that your person is feeling. I feel like this person that you have a crush on, they definitely reciprocate your feelings. They feel the same. We have love here as well. So divine source is the idea that no person, place or thing is your salvation. Only love itself is your salvation. This person is deeply focused on you. They already know there is love between the two of you. They already feel very drawn to you. This person feels like no matter what happens, there will always be love between the two of you. It does feel definitely like a very strong, fated connection between the two of them. It just, it feels like there's so many things that your person also has to do, especially like with this, your path energy. It feels like they're this person that you're asking about, so your crush, they are being asked to be or they are being put in many different circumstances and many different situations that are pulling them in different directions. But one of these sort of directions is definitely into your own path, into your own sphere into being with you and wanting to reconnect or wanting to connect with you even deeper than they have up until now. They want to make the right action towards you with the right action here that I'm feeling that feels sort of relaxed, that feels sort of easy and breezy and is not taking too much from them. 
I feel like this person definitely harbors strong feelings for you that they have not yet shared with you, for most of you at least. Um, they love being in your company with this receiving i'm getting just this beautiful energy of being around someone that you really really enjoy sort of almost like sitting outside in the sun and being almost like blasted with their own energy this is what this feels like to me you know being in your path is a blessing for this person being around you is a blessing for this person um, they just feel like you bring so much light and they only wish and hope to be able to bring you this much light as well and this much happiness as well. I definitely feel like this is a twin flame for most of you. There's destiny here on the bottom of the deck. But there just feels like there is possibly an outside circumstance that is also influencing this connection at the time so let's see what else wants to come through here spirit for group number two here what else wants to come through please they're reaching out to you is what spirit is saying they're waiting for you they want to reconnect to you we have the crown chakra coming through here this person feels a very deep very fated connection with you they feel enlightened whenever they are with you is what spirit is saying and also they feel like their inner being their purpose their light gets to shine bright when they are with you you're an incredibly important person for this person even if they're not fully letting you know this you are super important for this person they might be also afraid for some of you to admit just how important you are because it feels like it puts them in such a vulnerable and open position that they find difficulty coping with that. It's just, it feels like it's so opening. It feels like, you know, it's not just opening in terms of what you guys currently understand as opening. It's opening on an entirely different level. It's like opening of the soul. It's opening of their whole being. It's so much different than what we even usually understand as opening or falling into or allowing the universe to catch us. It's something even deeper than that. You know, it's even more than that. It's more than what you consider it to be, is what Spirit is saying here. So anything else here? What else wants to be shared with group number two here? This person is having a strong mental conflict. They are in dual mind when it comes to you, when it comes to being with you. This person wants deeply to be with you is what I'm getting here so very deeply. Um, but there is just something also that's taking their resources or that's taking their mental energy. You know, with it's your path energy, that energy of being sort of dispersed, the energy being dispersed is strongly here. And with mental conflicts, I'm deeply feeling this, this energy of wanting to reconnect, but there being other things that also are super important that are taking this person's energy or are certainly needing their focus, their awareness, their attention to be in that place at this time, which means that they cannot give you all of this focused attention, this time, this love, this energy that they are actually wanting to give you. And this person definitely wants deeply to reconnect with you is what I'm getting here. We have memories of love coming through the six of cups and we have triumph coming through as well so the chariot this person wants to move into your direction i feel like recently your crush here has been plagued by thoughts of you they've been thinking about you so strongly they couldn't get you out of your out of their mind um they've just been fantasizing about you daydreaming about you just thinking about you every second of every day and this has led them to want to take action with the chariot here, they want to take action. They want to move towards you. So what are your crush's feelings here? They are feeling strongly. They feel a sense of strong love for you. They feel a sense of partnership, a sense of home-like energy, something they have never felt before. They feel like this connection 
with you is the most perfect connection they could ever dream of or hope for in their lifetime. It feels like this connection is something so important for them and just something they hoped to never lose, you know? It's just something so very strong. And they definitely hear they feel like they want to move towards you, make a step towards you, make a move that is definitely going to let you know where they stand at this time, that they are interested, that they want to build something with you here. We have Cancer Energies showing up. This person is recently really rethinking your connection, thinking deeply about how they feel towards you, thinking of your past interactions and wanting to share, wanting to speak their truth about what they are going through and wanting to really tell you very, very deeply where they have been recently, what they have been thinking about recently and what they want in the future with you, where they want to go in the future with you. They want to nourish you. They want to nourish this connection. Anything else here? Yeah, transformation. This person is also on a more personal level, going through a deep transformation at this time. We have death energy, Scorpio energy showing up here, a bit of Pluto as well. So it feels like they're diving deep into themselves and they're really making sure that they engage with things that are right for them at this time. With transformations showing up, it just feels like your person is finally realizing what is the right course of action to be taking for the future of this connection to ensure the best for you and for themselves as well here. Um, yeah, just a profound transformation of their character is on their way with the transformation energy. This energy specifically, it feels to me like it's changing them. It's changing their character. It's changing their interests. It's also changing their values a little bit is what I'm getting. And I'm really feeling into it very, very strongly right now. They are also changing their habits because they want to, not because they want to be with you, because they want for themselves to be a different person because it feels right to be that type of person that they are urged to be with the transformation, with their me this metamorphosis, with death coming through. They are asked to have different hobbies, have different interests, to maybe cut certain people out of their lives as well. And it is a painful undertaking is what Spirit is saying, but at the same time, it is fully necessary to allow themselves to open up to love here and to allow themselves to feel and love and forgive and fall into this openness of receiving and giving of love that they have always wished for themselves. You know, as a little child, this person has wished for this type of love that they have with you fully strongly. I, I'm just definitely getting a strong connection here, soulmate twin flame energy for you guys very, very deeply. So we have the two of pentacles as well showing up. We have movement choices and decisions that need to be made. Mm, this person is just, yeah, it's, it's like they are deeply bound to certain things. They are struggling with that at this time. There are certain strong and difficult decisions that they need to make as well in their life at this time. But there is hope and we have the star here, beautiful star energy, you know, hope, light at the end of the tunnel. This person is feeling very optimistic that you guys can make it work, that everything can fall in its proper place. They have been feeling you, thinking about you, um, wanting you for a really long time as well. We have Aquarius energy showing up here. This person doesn't mind being a rebel anymore and they don't want to be disconnected from you anymore with the Four of Cups showing up here. This person doesn't want to be separate from you anymore. They want to reconnect. They want to come deeper in union with you and they want to start building the connection that they hope to have with you here. They recognize that any discontent and any boredom and any difficulty they have in their life is their own doing due to not acting 
right, you know, not acting from their heart with the right action here, not really taking action from their own heart, from their own wishes. What else, Spirit, please? They want harmony, they want joy, they want victory and success with you here. We also have um, prosperity begins coming through. So yeah, this person wants victory and success. They want to be seen with you. They want to let the whole world know that they actually feel very strongly for you, that they want you to be theirs, that they want to reconnect, that they want you, basically. And we have prosperity begins. They feel like there is this beautiful give and take energy between the two of you. They feel like this connection is ripening. It's beginning to blossom. It's beginning to bear fruit. It's beginning to be something that they can actually taste, feel, you know, savor. It's actually becoming something that has gotten very, very strong roots that has sort of yeah, grown deep roots within them, but is also currently giving them so much to savor and so much to enjoy and so much to hope for as well. So there's a lot of hopefulness, very strong, optimistic energy. You know, things are going to work out for the two of you is what this person is saying. We have stand your ground with the seven of wands here. I feel like this person is not really backing up in any way. They know that there is love to be shared between the two of you and definitely like they are going to stand their ground. They consider you to be their person as well. And this person is going to stand their ground when it comes to you. When it comes to, let's say, winning you over or being with you, they're going to stand in their power. They're not going to falter or, you know, step down in any way. All right. So let's see what else. Dashing through the snow is coming through here. Spirit is saying that there might have been minor, minor setbacks, delays or roadblocks in this connection. That is okay. It allowed you to grow and it's here now and it's, it's going away is what Spirit is saying. So that's just something that wants to come through. But what I wanted here is to, I wanted to give you guys some guidance towards the end as well. So Spirit, please, guidance for group number two, please. Guidance for group number two. What do they need to hear at this time in regards to this person, in regards to this connection? We have the karmic scales, justice, atonement, and karmic balancing. Spirit is saying there might, might have been some karmic influences towards this connection. Maybe from your people, maybe from the people you are associating with, maybe even from this person you have a certain karmic balance to create due to your past lives. Especially if you have past lives with this person, there might have been some energy that has been sort of coming from that past life towards this life that needs to be settled or needed to be settled here. Spirit is urging towards empathy, towards this relationship and creating a, an understanding between the two of you. Allow yourself to discern as well what is coming from the past life and what is coming from this life specifically so that you can better know the difference of what is really going on, what is really your feeling your feeling, quote unquote, and what is coming from your feeling, quote unquote, from the past life dimensions. It feels like something is influencing this connection from your past lives. Maybe your past lives together, maybe there have been some difficulties in the past that spirit wants you to balance out in this timeline, in this current incarnation as well. And it's possible that that is why things have possibly been a little bit difficult or things have just been a little bit challenging. But things are settling, things are coming to closure here. Just approach things with forgiveness, with love, with lightness, with empathy, and by really trying to feel into your person and their understanding of your situation. Try to have a conversation with them where you really speak your truth here. 
we have processing energies and adjustment period settling of energies spirit is saying you are both purifying and releasing a lot in this connection right now you just need to be aware of this so that you are not too hard on yourself at this time you are processing through a lot of energies you are purifying a lot at this time purifying your soul path as well at this time and releasing a lot of difficult stuck blocked energy at this time also in terms of your ancestors you are releasing a lot so allow yourself extra care at this time okay allow yourself to take care of yourself to release to take care of your personal space your physical body make sure you're eating well give yourself some extra pampering at this time as well it's what spirit is calling for if you feel tired allow yourself to sleep allow yourself to rest allow yourself to indulge whatever you feel like doing allow yourself that energy so one last card please spirit for group number two here what else is the guidance for them please thank you we have safe in your bubble safe from harm protected cocooned spirit is also asking you to practice spiritual hygiene at this time you know the same way that you're protecting your body your spirit your physical body you should also protect your spiritual soul self by practicing spiritual hygiene be aware of what you are allowing into your life who you are allowing into your life if there are people who shouldn't be there who don't don't make you feel good or who make you feel just terrible about yourself or who don't contribute to their to your well-being you know don't associate with those people anymore it is time to let certain elements go that's something that can also be contributed to the karmic cycle over here certain people that you really need to let go of your life let go of in your life um, especially if they are not bringing you anything good or any lessons that you can learn from. We have going off grid on the bottom of the deck here, unplugging and disappearing for a while. Some of you possibly need to have a bit of a retreat away from electronics, away from everything. You need to reconnect with nature is what Spirit is saying here. Reconnection with nature is especially crucial because it brings you back to your center. It brings you back to your being. It grounds you so that you have this sort of strong, neutral position from which you can build forward, right? So that is the message. Those are the messages coming from Spirit to you, group number two. Hope this gives you clarity and guidance, my loves. As always, it is an absolute pleasure to be sharing these messages with you. If you want a personal tarot reading, you know where to find me, my website, my email is listed down below. And if you want to connect to more videos, check out Patreon, link is down below as well. Thank you as always for watching, for connecting with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with someone that you love and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Bye. Hello, group number three, welcome to your video. So if you have shared, if you have picked this outrageous openness, this is going to be a reading today. I feel like your person overall with this card, what your crush is feeling, what they're thinking is they're basically leaving things very, very open. They're thinking about what else is going to happen between the two of you they are very excited at basically what is going to happen at what else is going to come their way with you here the card says dear love open me to your will release me from my attachments surprise and delight me with your plan you know what's needed and i'm open to receive this person is quite literally just welcoming anything they find this connection with you to be an ultimate adventure and i feel like they're really anticipating and excited towards anything that is going to come their way with you you know just like this giddy 
happy opening openness opening of their energy they're like so excited about what else is going to happen it's like this this curious energy that's happening here between the two of you and they're very very curious about what's going to happen next so what else do we have here we have intuition showing up each person's road to the inner lord exists is extraordinary and personal how liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed definitely with this card it's on the nose you know this person knows that there is something deep here they are listening to their intuition when it comes to you always when they connect with you or whenever they are about to meet you they recognize or are just met with different signs from the universe that let them know or pinpoint them in the right direction to move towards you here. We have detachment showing up as well. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. This person is not necessarily fully in your life, is what Spirit is saying. They are sort of in and out of your life, but they are always overjoyed when they get to see you, when they get to connect with you. This person is looking at you through the eyes of the heart. This person has unconditional love for you, is what Spirit is saying here. They recognize you as a friend, as a companion, as someone who brings them very interesting and curious energy. Um, maybe the things that you share with this person are very curious, very interesting. They love your conversations. Or also maybe just your personality, the way of speaking, your, your whole circumstances are magical in a certain way is what's coming through here. We have self-love. Let the walls fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before this person has been influenced to take care of themselves even more because of you you have opened them up to new dimensions new areas of self-love for them to uncover for them to play in especially their inner child it feels like you have opened up a lot in that area of their life here as well just just, yeah, just create this complete openness for your person, this complete way of looking inside of themselves. They're very grateful to you is what I'm seeing here. But also, I feel like your person's energy towards you is very childlike. It's very open. It's undemanding. It's without any real attachment to a certain outcome. It all feels like just very open we're going to see where this goes, sort of very chill, very pure as well in its intention, in its feeling. This person likes you a great deal, but they're also not set on a specific outcome for the two of you is what I'm sensing here. They really enjoy you. They recognize your magnificence is what Spirit wants to say here. They recognize your beauty, your wonder as a person. And they like building with you. But also if you fall out, if you don't connect for some time, it's also all right. This person still has love for you, even if you're not always in contact, is what this is telling me. Just this pure, unconditional love, this presence that this person is giving you. You know, they're always somehow present with you always giving you some of their energy some of their attention but without that need of you know attaching that to anything attaching that to a particular relationship or a particular belief they're just they just love being with you that's what i'm feeling here so what else what are they thinking feeling what is your crush here thinking feeling they're healing certain loss, hurt, certain heartache that has been in their life recently. 
this could be something to do with you but i do feel like also for most of you this has to do with their inner child something about their inner child maybe a particular wound was opened up and they're currently working on healing that they're focusing on themselves here with self-love especially they're trying to give themselves the love that they have always lacked they're trying to come through correctly for you as well with deception and envy there that we saw reversed just in the middle of the deck this person is connecting deeply to their own intuitive knowing at this time we have intuition coming through for the second time this is the high priestess energy so they definitely feel strongly towards you they feel an ethereal mystical type of connection with you which they can't fully describe, can't fully put into words, yet they know it is there because they feel it, they can sense it. This person is dreaming of you or even connecting with you through the astral dimension. Maybe you have had certain lucid dreams about this person. If you haven't, maybe they've had some lucid dreams of you here. They definitely feel this connection is something sacred. And what they're working on here is they are fulfilling their self, they're fulfilling their role, they're fulfilling their need for that immersion into one's own self, into fully understanding oneself, feeling oneself, knowing oneself, and working on that inner understanding. We have solitude showing up as well here, the hermit energy. Feels like this person has gone into themselves a little bit to try to understand things better, to try to understand themselves better, to try to uncover elements of their own soul that they didn't know before. It definitely feels like it's a strong inner quest that this person is on at this time and it is a lot to do, it has to, a lot to do with this connection. We have the moon showing up yeah, they, they're uncovering deeper elements, deepest elements of their soul at this time is what Spirit wants to say as a result of healing certain trauma or certain circumstances in their childhood, especially um, how they're feeling towards you. They're grateful to you. It feels like you have had a certain strong influence with this you are helping them work through this difficulty as well you are acting as the star of guidance for this person is what i'm getting they definitely feel an incredibly strong connection with you here something that they can't quite name but they feel it is there it feels like you are their guide towards deeper self-love towards more love towards a higher attunement to themselves towards higher attunement with other people as well with their intuition so even if they're not fully with you even if they're not striving towards you or explicitly taking steps towards you you know directly meeting you with accelerated motion reversed. This person feels like they're tuning inside of themselves at this time. They're attuning to themselves to be able to better attune to the future of who they want to be, of the future, who they are becoming as well. This does feel like it's someone who is going through a hermit mode someone who needs solitude, someone who needs to dive into their shadow, someone who understands that and is already diving into that, but at the same time, someone who is very open to see what else can come out of this connection, what else you guys can bring out in one another. This person likes what you do to them. Even if you open them up completely, they like that. They see that there is friendship between the two of you. They see there is love between the two of you. They see that there is mutual respect there between the two of you as well. And I feel like they, even if they don't speak of this, they are always going to be grateful to you for how you have opened them up to certain shielded elements of their self here. So let's see if there can be anything else here about this crush, what they're feeling towards you, anything more explicit or anything more direct 
yeah the spirit just saying this person has love in their heart for you they feel you immensely they feel a strong connection with you definitely their heart is open to you you have opened them up basically here their heart is shining brightly because of you and they're learning how to shine even brighter because of you your influence in this person's personal development and their own uncovering of self-love is immense anything else here spirit for group number three passion ignites this person has intense passions intense desires for you with the ace of wands coming through here they fantasize about you a lot they have lust for you they want you to be intimately bound with them intimately connected to them they want you physically as well they're fantasizing about you a lot in the physical realm also sometimes in the 5d you know that astral dimension as well wanting to connect to you you bring them a lot of pre pleasure and presence you set their heart afire and you bring them a lot of purity and peace but also that strong creative urge to express themselves to express their desire to live their own desire as well so what else here spirit what else wants to come through yeah the sacral chakra so strong desire strong wish to create something more out of themselves to possibly create something more through this connection as well i feel like your presence has really opened up this person just again reiterating the same thing basically with the sacral chakra what we have already shared so there is strong desire that is just being compounded with the sacral chakra being here strong fantasy strong wish to be together strong wish to have you physically as well and to be with you physically it's part of them growing into that loving presence what else spirit for group number three here we have emotional loss reversed so they're working through a certain emotional loss certain emotional difficulty let's clarify the emotional loss please spirit just real quickly to see what that's all about emotional loss in terms of having many different options or possibly in some ways not choosing or not having the ability to choose you as what is coming through here we have choose wisely so with emotional loss coming through here it feels like this person is possibly working through something personal to their own desires to what they wanted to do but also they might just want to come back you know the emotional loss here is the energy that is coming through reversed so you know that means acceptance as well that means coming to terms with their loss and moving past pain and trying to find peace in their circumstances wherever they are at at this time and also you know seeing that there are multiple possibilities or multiple opportunities here available to you this person might have a bit of a lack of clarity at this time. They might be obsessed with the worldly a little bit or obsessed with the physical a little bit with this card coming through. We have victory and success on the bottom of the deck though. So they feel like things are going to work out for the two of you, even if your guys are not necessarily together at this time. But yeah, they, they are a bit obsessed with the physical right now feeling the need to make certain decisions but at the same time finding acceptance here with what is all right so let's just quickly sum this up for you guys this person is currently in a bit of a solitude mode their lack of action here does not mean a lack of love or a lack of appreciation internally this person is introspecting a lot about how they feel towards you their desires their wishes their love for you we have love here on one side we have passion here on the other which are both very very strongly activated this person's passion was ignited because of you and it has led them down the road of self-discovery finding themselves finding this deeper connection with themselves which 
is a path that they're still on. They see a beautiful end towards this cycle as well with you, with the victory and success. Yet at this time, it feels like this person is still coming to terms with acceptance, with healing. They're still going through a certain healing process. In regards to this connection, it just feels like it's not really about you here though, you know, group number three. It's not like you have a part to play here. You have a part to play, but it almost feels like you have been the initiator. You were the one who brought this about, who started this transformation. Like you were the catalyst for this person is what is coming through here. And now it's just on them to work through these things, all right? Even if they're not fully with you, they're still open to seeing what else becomes of this connection. This person is open to whatever might come their way. They see multiple possibilities present for the two of you and I feel like they're very open to seeing where this is all going to lead the two of you. All right, so let's see what else wants to come through. So we're just going to see what guidance wants to come through for you, group number three, for the end here. So spirit guidance for group number three in regards to this person, in regards to this connection, with their crush, please. What wants to come through here? We have braving the storm. Spirit wants you to focus on your emotions, face difficulties, find courage and focus on your strength. Focus on emotional stability and your own fortitude at this time. It feels like if, if things are difficult, you know, find it within yourself to try to dance in the rain at this time. Try to enjoy yourself through this process. Try to find a sense of enjoyment in this process. It feels like it's a collective emotional undertaking that you guys are going through as well here, especially if you're resonating with that, you know, energy of things being a bit difficult here. But that breakthrough, that brave of the storm, that sort of face, that energy of facing the storm with strength is going to bring a lot of breakthroughs and increased self-awareness is what's coming through here with ice fishing. All right, so three, three energy. Number three is here, that breakthrough, that buildup of energy, that creative process unfolding and becoming something tangible in the physical. Things are going to give way and they are going to come bearing gifts. So be mindful of that. Know that things are going to happen for you. And we have the tea of transformation here, healing remedy and positive change. So spirit is definitely saying that, you know, positive change is on its way to you. Don't despair. Be hopeful. Know that things are coming to you. Everything that you are wanting is coming towards you here. And it is coming with the gifts. It's coming with purity as well, virtue, goodness, and a pillar of society. So you know, goodness is coming, good things are coming, even if things feel a bit difficult at this time, it's all intended to face you with certain messages, to bring you certain breakthroughs, and to increase your self-awareness, so that you find a more pure way of engaging yourself with the world, and through that, find that sense of healing, that goodness, that positive change that you can build within yourself, but that you also can give the collective, that you also can sort of contribute to the collective, contribute to society here. So that's the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for connecting, my loves. Hope some of this gives you some clarity and guidance on your path. If you want a personal tarot reading, contact me. My email is down below. My website is down below. If you want more videos, check out Patreon. As always, I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with someone that you love as the YouTube mantra goes. And I'll see you all in the next video. Namaste. Have a beautiful day and thank you as always for connecting with me. Bye.